Hello, Hello Floss Tube. I'm Priscilla. This is my daughter Chelsea. Hi. And this is Ronnie and Daisy. They're our stitchy sidekicks. <laughs> I've been asked many times to do a Floss Tube video and I always said no, but she started stitching four months ago, so look at me now. <laughs> I'm a good influence. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> but anyway, I would say that my cross stitch claim to fame would be my chalkboards that I designed for Kathy Haberman and Hands On Design that were in the Just Cross Stitch magazine last year. This and is then the summer. She's got quite a few different patterns. Yeah, there were seven different ones. And then we went to I think you have the finished one. Then we went to the Chalk for the Home series, and this is the summer rose cottage, and there was a spring tulip house, and fall has been drawn, so I can't wait to see that chart. I'm very excited to get started on it that Kathy is putting out under the hands-on design pattern name. When you get these patterns, you get the smaller pattern up here with the um, word, and then the house as well down here. And everyone always asks me about changing out my things, so you can see. Sneak peek. Sheet metal and magnets. <laughs> and you store it like that and... Easy way to switch out for the different seasons, so. So then I'll show you a few of my other finishes that I've done recently. That one is from Heart and Hand. And it's the birds and the bees, right? Mm-hmm. And I framed it on a piece that I found at Hobby Lobby and added some little bee buttons. And this one I found the piece of gate at a flea market and then attached, this is a little house, honeybee, is a honeybee sampling I think? Um, and I did like a burlap bow and some more of the bee buttons. I've also finished the August Little House. She's got short arms, so I have to show you everything. Classic Colorworks chart packs for the sampler months. And I did change the colors on that, but it is all done in Classic Colorworks. And then last night, I finished Chillin' from the Drawn Thread. This one had quite a few specialty stitches in it as Three. well. Three. <laughs> well, it took a little bit. That was a lot. <laughs> and a couple days ago, I finished uh, Country Cottage Needleworks Sunflowers in Summer. Is that what it is? Yep. I left off the bottom verse and I moved up the border and I know exactly how I'm going to finish it and I can't wait to get that done. And I stitched totally on 28 count yeah, tea, these are... coffee dyed, uh, even weave, sorry, I couldn't think of the name. <laughs> she tea coffee dyes them herself. So anything you see here today will be the tea coffee and dyed. Show them your finishes. Okay, so I've got, again, she's like she... gone hog wild. Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't believe how much stitching she's gotten done and how good she is for just starting four months ago. Four months ago, I first started on Ada. My mom got me a pattern with chickens in it. I have 13 chickens and two ducks at home, so I like the country kind of stuff. So she got me the uh, thread pack for... Uh, Lizzie Kate Farm. It was a little tiny piece, and she did it in like a day and came back for more, so... So this is, I don't have that for you today, but here's one of my uh, finishes. I am a step-parent to two kids. Two little girls. So we finished uh, Lizzie Kate's How to Be a Mean Mother on, this is tea dyed gingham, and then we've got some. A frame from the thrift store that was like $1.99. We're big on thrifty kinds of finishes. Um, we've got cover buttons and some twine flowers up top. And we like to finish things in a different way so that they don't just look like they're in a frame. They have to be special. And we like to different. find stuff at flea markets, thrift stores. Um, my second finish I'm going to show you, not my second finish, but the next one I'm going to show you. This is Liberty Lane. 
Uh, so I had the, this piece of barn wood that I had gotten at a flea market just sitting in the garage for probably two years and my husband was about to throw it out. Um, so we cut it in half, mounted it on some blue ticking. I did change some of the floss to make the houses look a little bit darker to match my other uh, patriotic decorations that I have in the house. And then we've got a banner of um, fabric up here with some covered buttons as well. And this I had graduated to 28 count even weave. It took a few tries, believe me, and a lot of text messages and naughty words to my mother. <laughs> um, then uh, around 4th of July, well even before 4th of July, I started the collection of the three chart packs from Classic Color Works and Little House Needleworks. So long may she wave. And they're all stitched in the Classic Color Works thread. Land of the free. I had stitched these and made a banner out of them and she wanted the same banner so I have to finish them in a banner for her. She's my finisher. She's my Vana. Um, <laughs> and then my most recent finish is Farm Fresh. Uh, we know how we're going to finish this, I just have to get to it. Um, I love the little chickens though and the scale. I love it all. Oh, so cute. Can you believe she started stitching four months ago? It's embarrassing. <laughs> Wait till you see my haul. <laughs> Okay, you're up. All right, so whips. Here, Whip, whips. you gotta show them. I'm working on, what is it, Kringle and Christmas? Kringle, Kringle and, and Mullard. Mullard. Oh. You changed some of the floss for this, yes. correct? It was one of my Stitch Mania starts. I started 20, 24, I think. A lot. And that's when I was just getting into it, and I was so confused about what Mania was. And then I'm doing the, the small chart from this Prairie Schooler summer. And I've got three of the squares done and I started the fourth, but I didn't like the butterfly, so I changed it to the cone flowers that were in the pattern. So often that, that turns out. And I also started this week the Christmas rules from Lizzie Kate. I only got a little bit done on the first one. I'm doing the whole thing in a long strip. She's going to go up vertically like the pattern showed. And I've been working on these uh, Frosty Forest from Country Cottage Needleworks. I have five of them done, and those will all be mounted separately. And I know what I'm going to do with them, so I just got to get them done. She's very good about knowing how she's going to finish her project before she starts. So I just start projects hoping that she'll know how to finish mine before, <laughs> before I'm done with it. Oh, whips. Yep. Um, so I've got a case of start-itis. I, like I said, I have two stepchildren, two little girls. So I recently quit my full-time job to stay at home with them. So I've got a lot of stitchy time lately. Um, so first up, I've got um, bobbing for pumpkins with that needle and thread. I loved those little witches so much that I had to stitch it. Uh, so this is how far. Isn't it cute? I love the pumpkins and her little shoes and her nose. Oh, love it. Um, like I said, I'm a country girl. Most of my patterns you'll see are country. So the Old Red Barn by Little House Needleworks. And we're going to take this and switch it out with Liberty Lane for the fall so she can put it on her mantle if it's big enough to fit on the on that barn wood that we showed you. Uh, so I just have the border here to do and then I will be done with this one. This one was a fun stitch. I used all the cult four threads and everything I stitch now is on even weave as well. 28 count. 28 count. Coffee tea dyed. I haven't. And she's even learned how to dye her own. While FaceTiming my mother. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm doing Halloween rolls stitched as shown vertically like this. I have gotten two kind of two rules done. I just need to finish that border there for Howl at the Moon. This one is really fun and I can get one stitched in a couple hours so it's nice just to take with me or if the kids are at the pool. Oh and you guys will be jealous of my project bags. I don't know if they have an Etsy account but I'll link it below if they do. I use Ziploc bags for right now. Um, I, I just started um, Autumn 
So I had recently done the summer one. I don't stitch the words at the bottom, so I just have it up to here, and then we finished it in a wreath uh, that hangs on one of my... And the big project bag. <laughs> That's the big project bag to put all the Ziploc bags inside of. Uh, so I just started this uh, three or four days ago, and this is where I'm at. But again, I can switch that out with the seasons, um, and it's just a wreath that hangs on my china cabinet. Then, one last stitchy start. Ooh. I've got snow days. You won't be able to see much of it because I've got my floss in there, but this is how far I'm at with this guy. I have not mastered um, measuring my fabric correctly, so you'll <laughs> see a lot of my fabric just has extra on there. But before yeah, the was first <laughs> one, she came to me with a quarter inch border, so <laughs> that was kind of hard to finish. She was really upset. <laughs> All right, now we're going to haul. I only have three things. <laughs> I got this one on Stash Unload. Merry Friends by Plum Street. October 31st by With Thy Needle and Thread. I love it. I can't wait to start it. And then Boo and Ba from With Thy Needle and Thread. And I wanted that one because I did the, the patriotic, I can't remember what it's called, but I just did that this year and it turned out really cute. So I'd like to do the fall one too. Like I said, I retired early, <laughs> so I needed a retirement <laughs> gift that my husband doesn't know about yet. Um, I've got Dear Friends from Plum Street. And I got this at our local LNS uh, to replace Liberty Lane in the winter. I got Lantern Lane by Little House Needleworks. I love this. The sidewalk, the trees. Oh, I love it. Snowflakes. My in-laws live on a river, so I'm hoping to stitch this up for Christmas for them. Um, they've got some black bears visiting them lately. I'm going to try to uh, switch that out to Riverside instead of Lakeside. Miss Sunflower, Little Miss Sunflower. I need to start stitching stuff for the fall so I have things to switch out my summer stuff with. I love this. Pumpkin Hollow Farms. It's very cute. They're all very cute. I know. Right? I just, we need more time to stitch. We do. <laughs> I told my husband I need vacation time already. <laughs> um, about a month and a half ago, Three Owl Threads was selling some of her stash so I picked up um, numbers 5 through 12 from the Prairie Schooler. 12 days of Christmas, so I purchased one through four. And to be honest, I only got it because number she eight was the back. oh, number eight was a cow for eight maids milking, and I'm obsessed with cows and chickens. That's my whole decor at home. Um, this one is probably the one that I'm going to start next. I just dyed some fabric for it, so the farms of Hawk Run Hollow. I love everything about this. I told my husband I was getting it because it has uh, fishing on it for Fishing Friday. And he's a big fisher, so he's like, okay, I would love it. Um, and that is, I've got another shipment coming from Beach Cottage, but that might be a little bit. So I've got quite a bit of haul to start. We both have Instagrams. Mine is Priscilla Blaine. Hers is Chelsea356. I also have a blog, Priscilla's2000. Dot blogspot.com where I post all my finishes and I also have a Facebook page Priscilla's 2000 so we'd love for you to come and join along and and we'll link those below as well as our project bags we'll link those <laughs> below where we got those <laughs> thank you for joining us we hope to be doing this weekly we'll see this is really nerve-wracking and really we're both sweating <laughs> I'm <laughs> So we'll see you next time. Thank you.